Welcome back to B Gaming, you guys. The landscape of gaming is changing. The PlayStation 5 was just announced, and it might even come out this year. Maybe. If you're like me, you were super excited about the announcement, but didn't bother to actually watch it, and instead you clicked through all the trailers later. The gang's all here. Sequels, nostalgia, fan service, the car game, the super graphical but impossibly shallow nonsense, and then, but what's this? Little Devil Inside is an action RPG with survival elements set in an atmospheric semi-open world. Just look at this. Little Devil Inside is absolutely dripping with style. Everything about it seems unique and interesting. It's got humor, tension, combat. It's that rare kind of game that comes along that feels familiar, but it's like nothing we've seen before. It presents a glimpse into an entire world that I feel compelled to explore. Of all the games we were shown, Little Devil Inside stands out as an entirely original and unique experience that has me saying, I need more. You play as a hero for hire, not the magical chosen one destined to bring peace to the world, just some guy with a sword and the will to kill some monsters. You're hired by a professor who wants to study unusual events in the outside world to create new technology. But it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. Instead of going to a dungeon, murdering everything, and cashing in the quest, Little Devil Inside wants you to experience the world. On their Kickstarter, they talk about the game from the context of scenes. You might need to ride a train to get where you're going, but you won't just fast travel. You will experience the train ride. It might be an attack you need to repel, or you might meet a character who needs your help. I could also imagine nothing happens, and we spend time with our character watching the world pass by. The key design concept behind Little Devil Inside is pretty funny. Minimalism, but not minimalism per se. Their goal is to create a surreal yet familiar world detailed just enough to create vivid imagery in our minds. Another interesting goal is to instill a sense of emptiness for us to fill. I think it's safe to say they absolutely nailed it. The humor comes through everywhere, from our character's enormous eyes to the cartoonish curves of this boat to the wiggly wobbly animations, but it's all set over a whisper of melancholy. Something about the loneliness of adventuring and the solitude of study keeps us grounded. And then we go into town and buy some schmeat. <laughs> it seems that the core gameplay loop of Little Devil Inside is going to be pretty familiar. We get our quest, we prep for the mission, we go on an adventure, we come back and upgrade our equipment. It looks like we'll have a sword, shield, and a gun, but it also looks like we get some other cool weapons or equipment since we do see this little ball in a cup kind of bomb thing. It basically looks like a mix between The Witcher and Monster Hunter set in the world of Yonder, the Cloudcatcher Chronicles, and honestly, I am all about that. We'll have access to a vehicle, which we can upgrade, and it looks like sometimes other characters will come on missions with us. Uh, their Kickstarter also says you can hire other people to be on your team and then send them out on missions depending on uh, their specialties. The combat looks fun, fast, and fluid. The three best Fs we can give. Even just watching the character fight is pretty fun. We can expect a pretty wide variety of enemies, both like grunt enemies and bosses. And because of the game's focus on preparation, we can assume that there's going to be a pretty good amount of strategy involved in every encounter. But what's going to set this game apart is the way they frame their levels and missions as scenes. Looking at the gameplay, it does feel like we've just turned the page in a picture book. And it also looks like we're not just gonna be monster hunting, sometimes we're exploring the ocean or whatever. I mean, we're just doing whatever the professor needs us to do to further his research. And that might not always mean killing every monster in sight. I think it's this back and forth between the adventuring and the preparation, hanging out in the town, gathering resources, meeting new characters, 
It's the in-between moments that are really going to set this game apart. Little Devil Inside is made by Neostream, which is a core team of three developers who've been working on this game for seven years. <laughs> to give you some context, their first stretch goal would let them release on the Wii U. Yeah, remember that console? Me neither. Neostream is a multimedia company, but their passion has always been games. In another situation, this might sound like a horror story. A small team of amateur designers has been making their dream game for seven years. Yeah, that game isn't coming out. But this story is a little different. They've run a successful Kickstarter, and now they're on the announcement lineup for a new console. We can assume they're getting the help they need from Sony, and from the reactions of people like me who've never heard of this game up until now, there is a huge amount of interest. I hope the guys at Neostream are encouraged by the response because I really want to play this game. Little Devil Inside doesn't have a release date yet. In fact, if you go to their excellent website, it still isn't updated with any new information. Their Kickstarter doesn't even mention that it's on the PS5. So, if you want to stay up to date and see more videos like this, please subscribe. I make videos about games in the gaming world because I just get so excited and I want to share that excitement with you. So click that subscribe button with a satisfied sigh. Ah, And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.